All right, so we're right outside of Tony's Pizza Napolitana, and I'm gonna get a lesson, a master lesson in dough tossing, acrobatic dough tossing. Let's slap it a couple times. Okay. Are you a righty or a lefty? I'm righty. Okay, so right hand. Or right palm like that. Bring it in. So watch my hand without it. Bring it in like this. And we're gonna push it up like this. Perfect, first step. So do that three times. One, two, Three. <laughs> okay. Nice. So what we're gonna do is that, that that's kind of flopping over a little bit, right? Yep. So let's get our other hand in a fist. Okay. Let's get it under there a little bit, just to support it a little bit. And then we're gonna be there already to catch it. So already be there to catch with your fist. Perfect. Gotcha. You get really good. You start spinning your hand. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. You across the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, meanwhile, I'm just, just uh, so here. Okay. okay. But this is where I, I'm still here, but I guess you got to be able to do this before you yeah. can do that. You know, it's a dose pretty strong. Yeah, it is. It's nice. So and I, what I did was I, I re-balled it. Uh-huh. Took your dough. dough. Uh -huh. Re-balled it, rolled so it that out. So that you more glue. So this stuff. dough's snapping back. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. So this yeah. dough is really good for you to throw it up practice in the air on. and practice with. You, and do, so, do you still have those, like, rubber doughs that people can practice with? Yeah, the pro dose. Pro dose, yeah. yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Tony, he's going, Tony, Tony. So why do we toss dough? <laughs> why do we toss dough? Because the kids dig it? Kids uh, dig it. Well, that's pretty no, good. I know why. I know why. Why? Because you're trying to impress a girl. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, we toss it. One, to get to the size that you want. Two, as I'm tossing this pizza in the air, I'm actually naturally building a crust, making it thinner in the middle, uh -huh. thicker in the end. Uh -huh. And actually, I, I, as I'm throwing this dough in the air, it's actually creating a, a bit of a film. It's drying out this. It's I actually see. trapping in some of the moisture, uh -huh. making it crunchy on the outside, but very light and airy. So there's a function to yeah, the Yeah, that okay. air, that air. So those guys in, in New York it. windows are not just doing it for show, there's an actual function. A few different reasons uh -huh. to it, too. But really, as you're shaping the dough with your hands, you're, you're not punching out all that yeast, all that air, right. all that flavor. You're not knocking out all the gas. You're kind of keeping it in, you're stretching out by hands, and you're tossing it once in a while. I mean, that's all you do. What's important is, as, as you usually ta uh, catch anything, Whenever you throw something up in the air, you always catch in the middle. Uh -huh. When it comes to pizza, that's the opposite. You don't want to when do you that. toss a pizza wide, you catch wide. Why wouldn't I catch it right here? Why it, wouldn't it I catch was, it right well, here? You're going to get a weak it. middle, right? Yeah. yeah, so when you toss wide, catch wide. Toss wide, catch, catch wide. wide. Also, when you toss a pizza, you don't catch it like that. You want to be the cool pizza tosser and like just have it come back to your hand. Uh -huh. So you don't look like you're nervous, that's like the, you're scared. That's, it should always come to your hands, no matter what. Because if the dough knows you're scared, it's going to take advantage of you. It will, and you yeah. don't want the dough to right. take advantage of you. All right. So, so look at that. Look how, and it keeps getting a little bigger, a little bigger. Yeah, you know it's strong dough when you just pinch it. And hold it together. Wow. Okay, so again, so we're going to... Uh, palm. All palm. A palm, a palm. Toss it with palm up. Palm like this, toss it this way. Nice. And then try the to... The reason why is your palm is fists are good. But did you notice how many times you tossed it and you didn't really get it very much, very bigger? Yeah. But you notice when you toss it faster, it'll get bigger? Ah, uh, yeah. So you can spin a pizza faster like this than with your knuckles like this. Oh. So it's all about your palm. Okay. Because it's how fast you toss the pizza, not how many times you toss the pizza to make it as big as you can get. So speed is Speed is everything. Go. Okay. And again, my, but my hand should be in the, about in the middle of the dough? Right, no, uh, hands will be uh, on the outside. Toss wide. Yeah, toss wide, catch wide. wide. catch wide. Okay. So let's see. Nice. Very nice. Uh, but fest, when I catch it with the fist. That's good. Not bad. So I got to catch it with so, fist. So, you know, like anything, you got to repeat. It's repetition, repetition. How long did it take you to get good? It took me a long time. It took me a really long so time. But already, I did it every day. It was like my hobby. It. And you already had a pizzeria going, right? So when you first started, yeah. you weren't tossing your dough that much at the beginning. I was you? 18. I was doing it. My brother said, toss You're, every pizza here. I was a pizza thrower. So you knew from I the start. I was the guy pizza tossing and making and tossing. So, so you had a chance to practice every on the day. job. Well, this is great. Well, you know, thanks, thanks. For, for my for my initial lesson. I'm gonna go home, practice with my pro dough, practice with some real dough, and then you know, I can be ready. Now you jump at the paddle,